Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to be Habakkuk 1 to 3, Proverbs, Zephaniah 1 to 2, Proverbs 16, and Psalm 108. Let's get started. This is a prophecy that Habakkuk the prophet received from the Lord. Here's what Habakkuk said. Lord, how long do I have to call out that? Why don't you, why don't you listen to me? <clears throat> how long do I, must I keep telling you that things are terrible? <laughs> why don't you save us? Why do you make uh, make me wash while people treat others so unfairly? Why do you put up with the wrong things they are doing? I have to look at death. People are harming others. They are arguing and fighting all the time. The law can't do what it's supposed to do. Fairness never comes out on top. Sinful people surround those who do what is wrong. So people are never treated fairly. The Lord replies, Look at the nation. Watch them. Be totally amazed at what you see. I am going to do something in your days that you would never believe. You will not believe it, even if someone told you about it. I am going to send the armies of Babylon to attack you. They are mere very mean. They will move quickly. They sweep across the whole earth. They take over homes that do not belong to them. They terrify others. But they do not recognize any laws on, but their own. They, that is how proud they are. Their horses are faster than leopards. They are meaner than wolves at something. Their horses, their horsemen charge straight into battle. They ride in from far away. They come down like an eagle, driving, diving for its food. All of them are ready and willing to destroy others. Their huge armies advance like a wind out of the desert. They gather prisoners like sand. They mock kings and make fun of other rulers. They laugh at all the cities they that have high walls around them. They build dirt rams against the walls and capture the cities. They sweep past like the wind. Then they go on their way. They are guilty. They worship their own strength. Ha, Lord, haven't you existed forever? You are my holy God. You will never die. Lord, you have never appointed. You have appointed the Babylonians to punish your people. My rock. You've chosen them to judge us. Your eyes are too pure to look at what is evil. You can't put up with the wrong things people do. <clears throat> so why do you put up with those who can't be trusted? The evil Babylonians swallow up those who are more godly than themselves. So why are you silent? You have made people to be like the fish in the sea. They are like the sea creatures. They don't that don't have a rule. <clears throat> the evil Babylonians pull all of them by up with hooks. They catch them in their nest. They gather them up, so they sell them. They are glad. They offer sacrifices to their nest. They burn incense to them. Their nets allow them to live in great comfort. They enjoy the finest food. Are you going to let them keep destroying them? Keep destroying nations without showing them any mercy? I will go out to the lookout tower. I will station myself on the sea wall. I will wait to see how the Lord will reply to me. Then I will try to figure out what I have complained about. The Lord replies, write down the message I am giving to you. Write it clearly on the tablets you use. Then a messenger will, can read and run to an answer. The message I give you will <clears throat> wait for the time I have appointed. He speaks about what is going to happen. And all that might will come to you. It might take a while, but wait for it. You can be sure it will come. It will happen when I want it to. The Babylonians are very proud. What they want is not good. But the person who is godly will live by his faithfulness. Mine makes the Babylonians do foolish things. They are proud. They never rest. Like the grave, they are always hungry. They are always hungry for more. Like death, they are never satisfied. They gather all the nations to themselves. They take all the people. Or those people away as prisoners. When those people laugh at the Babylonians, when they make fun of them, they will say no. They will say to them, "How terrible it will be for you who pile up stolen goods. You get rich by cheating others. How long will this go on? Those who owe money to will suddenly rise up. They will wake up and make you trouble, tremble with fear. They will take, then they will take away everything you have. You robbed many nations, so the nations uh, that are left will rob you." You have spilled human blood. You have destroyed lands and cities and everyone in them. How terrible it will be for the Babylonians. They build their kingdom with money that they, they gain by cheating others. They have tried to make the kingdom as secure as possible. And after all, they do not want to be destroyed. They have planned to wipe out many nations, but they have brought shame on their own kingdom. So they must pay, pay with their own lives. The stones in the walls of their homes will cry out, and the wooden beams will echo that cry. How terrible it will be for the Babylonians. <laughs> they build cities by spilling the blood of others. They establish towns by doing what is wrong. I am the Lord who rules over them. 
Human effort is no better than would that be to fire. <clears throat> so the nations wear themselves out for nothing. The oceans are full of water. <clears throat> In the same way, the earth will be filled with the knowledge of my glory. How terrible it will be for the Babylonians. They give drinks to their neighbours. They pour the drinks from wineskins until their neighbours are drunk. They want to look at their naked bodies. But the Babylonians will be filled with shame instead of glory. So now it is mine. So now it is their turn to drink and be stripped of their flesh. The cup of anger is powerful in my, in my powerful right hand. It's going to punish them. They will be covered with shame instead of glory. The harm they have done to Laban will bring them near. Because they have killed so many animals, animals will terrify them. They have spilled human blood. They have destroyed lands and cities. They have wanted them. If someone casts a statue of a god, what is it worth? What value is there in a god that teaches life? The one who trusts in this kind of god worships his own creation. He makes statues of gods that can't speak. How terrible it will be for the baby. They say to a wooden god, come to life. They say to a stone god, wake up. Can those gods take advice? Give advice. They are covered with gold and silver. They can't even breathe. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let the whole earth be silent in front of him. Lord, I know how favors you are. I pay respect for you. Because of your mighty acts, do them again for us. For us. Make them known in our time. When you are angry, please have mercy on us. God came from Timon. The Holy One came from Mount Power. His glory covered the heavens. His praise filled the earth. His glory was like sunrise. Like the summer, the rays of light flashed from his mighty hand. His power was in there. He sent plagues ahead of him. But the sickness followed behind him. When he stood up, the earth shook. When he looked at the nations, when he looked at the nations, they trembled with fear. The age of mountains crumbled. The ancient hills, hills fell down. But he marches on forever. I saw the tents of Cushan were in, in trouble. The people of Midian were suffering great. Lord, were you angry with the rivers? Were you angry with the streams? Were you angry with the Red Sea? You rode your chariots and horses. You rode your horses and chariots to overcome it. You got your bow ready to use. You asked for many hours. You broke up the surface of the earth with the rivers. The mountains saw you and shook. Floods of water swept by. The sea roared. It lifted its waves high. Its waves high. The sun and moon stood still in the sky. They stopped. Stopped because your flying arrows flashed, flashed by. Your gleaming spears shone like lightning. When you were angry, you marched across the earth. Because of your anger, you destroyed the nations. You came out to set your people free. You saved your chosen ones. You crushed Pharaoh, the leader of that, that evil land of Egypt. You stripped him from head to foot. His soldiers rushed out to scatter us. They were laughing at us. They thought they would easily destroy us. They saw us as weak people who were trying to hide. So you wounded Pharaoh's head with his own spear. His horses charged, your horses charged into the Red Sea. They stirred up the great waters. I listened and my heart pounded. My lips trembled at the sound. My bones started to roar, seemed to roar, and my legs shook. But I will be patient. I will wait for the day of trouble to come on Babel. It's the nation that is the technique. The fig tree might not bud. The vines might not produce any grapes. The old crop might fail. The fields might not produce any food. There might not be any sheep in the pen, but they might... There might not be any cattle in the barns, but I'll still be glad because of what my Saviour, what the Lord has done. God, my Saviour, fills me with joy. Lord and King gives me strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He helps me walk on the highest places. Highest places. Zephaniah 1 to 2. A message from the Lord came to Zephaniah, the son of Cushi. Cushi was the son of Gedaliah. Gedaliah was the son of Mary. Mary was the son of King Hezekiah. The Lord spoke to Zephaniah during the rule of Josiah. He was king of Judah and the son of Ammon. I will sweep away everything from the face of the earth, and answer the Lord. I will destroy people and animals alike. I will wipe out the birds in the sky and the fish in the woods. I will destroy the statues of gods that will cause evil people to sit. Now will happen when I destroy all human beings on the face of the on the face of the earth, and answer the Lord. I will reach out my powerful hand against you. I will punish all those who live in Jerusalem. I will destroy from this place what is left to bow worship. Now the priests who serve by the gods will be removed. I will destroy those who bow down to bow down on their roofs to worship all the stars. I will de what, destroy those who make promises only in my not only in my name but also in the name of Moloch. I will destroy those who stop following the Lord. And they no longer look to him or ask him for advice. Be silent in front of him. And he is the Lord and he. The day of the Lord is near. 
He, the Lord has prepared a sacrifice. He set it apart for himself, the people he has invited. When the Lord's sacrifice is ready to be burned, to be offered, I will punish this. I will punish the officials and the king's sons. I will also judge anyone, all those who follow the practices of other nations. At that time, I will punish the, all those who worship other gods. And they will fill the temples of their gods with lies and other harmful things. At that time, people with the fish gate in Jerusalem will cry out, and as is the So all those at the new court, the buildings on the hills will come crashing down with loud noise. So the cry out you who live in the marketplaces all your merchants will all your merchants will be wiped out those who trade in silver will be destroyed at that time i will search jerusalem with names i will punish those who are so contented contented and will, they are like wine that has not been shaken up they think the lord won't do anything he won't do anything good or bad their wealth will be stolen their houses will be destroyed they will build houses. They, they will not live in. They will plant vineyards. They will plant vineyards, but they will not drink the wine they produce. The great day of the Lord is near. <clears throat> in fact, it is coming quickly. The cries on that day are bitter. The mighty warrior shouts his battle cry. At that time, I will pour out my anger. There will be a great suffering and pain. There will be a day of horrible trouble. There will be a time of darkness and gloom. They will be filled with the dark, blackest clouds. Trumpet blasts and battle cries will be heard. The soldiers will attack cities that are forts and corn towns. I will bring great trouble on all my people. On all people. So they will fill their way around like blind people. They have sinned against the Lord. <clears throat> their blood will be poured out like dust. Their bodies will lie rotting on the ground. Their silver and gold won't save them. On the day the Lord pours out his anger, the whole earth will be burned up when his jealous anger blazes out. Everyone who lives on earth will come to a sudden end. Gather together, you shameful nation of Judah. Gather yourselves together. Come together before the Lord's judgment arrives. The day of the Lord's judgment will sweep in like straw blown by the wind. Soon the Lord's great anger will come against you. The day of his wrath will come against you. So look to him, all you people in the land, who worship him faithfully. You always do what he commands you to do. Continue to do what's right. Don't be proud. Then perhaps the Lord will keep you safe on the day he pours out his anger on the world. And Gaza will be deserted. Ashkelon will be destroyed. Ashdod will be empty at right noon. Ekon will be pulled up by its fruit. How terrible it will be for you, Kirsthites, who live by the Mediterranean Sea. This year, the Lord has spoken against you. What happened to Cain and what happened to you? The Lord says, I will destroy you. No one will be left. The land by the sea will become grassland. It will have wells for sheep. It will have wells for shepherds and pens for flocks. That land will belong to those who are still left alive among the people of Judah. They will just find grasslands there. They will they'll take over the houses in Ashkelon and live in them. The Lord their God will take care of them. He will bless them with great success again. The Lord says, I have heard Moab make fun of my people. The Ammonites also laughed at them. He told them that bad things would happen to their land. So Moab will become like Sodom, and then says the Lord who rules over all. Ammon will be like Amor. Weeds and salt pits will cover those countries. There will be dry and empty deserts for us. Those who are still left alive among my people will take all their valuable things. So they will receive those lands as their own. And that's just as sure as I am alive. The Lord is the God of Israel. <laughs> Moab and Ammon will be judged because they are so proud. They made fun of the Lord's people. They laughed at them. The Lord who rules over all will terrify Moab and Ammon. He will destroy all the gods on earth. The then distant nations will bow down to him. And all of them will serve him in their own land. The Lord says, People of Cush, people of Cush, you too will die by my sword. The Lord will reach out his powerful hand against, against the north. He will destroy Syria. He will leave Nineveh totally empty. It will be as dry as the desert. Flocks and herds will lie down there. So old creatures of every kind. Desert owls and screech owls will rest on its pillows. The sound of their hooting will echo through the windows. The doorways will be full of trash. The set of beams will be shelved. Nineveh was a carefree city. It lived in safety. It said to itself, I am the one. Though no one is greater than I am, but it is being destroyed. Wild animals make their home. All those who pass by laugh and shake their fists at it. Proverbs 16.
People make plans in their hearts, but the Lord puts the correct answer on their tongues. Everything a person does might seem pure to them, but the Lord knows why they do what they do. Commit to the Lord everything you do, then he will make your plans succeed. The Lord works everything out to the proper end, and even those who do wrong will make for a day of trouble. The Lord hates all those who have proud hearts, but you can be sure that they will be punished. And through love and truth, sin is faithful. People avoid evil when they have respect for the Lord. When the way you live pleases the Lord, he makes even your enemies live at peace with you. It is better to have a little and do right than to have a lot and be unfair. In the higher hearts, human beings plan their life, but the Lord decides where their steps will take. A king speaks as if his words come from God, and what he says and what he says does not turn right into wrong. On the scales and balances belong to the Lord. He made all the weights in the back. A king hates it when his people will do what is wrong. And a ruler is made secure when they do what is right. Kings are pleased when the Lord you say is honest. They value people who speak what is right. An angry king can order your death, but a wise person will try to calm him down. When a king says he's happy, it means life. His favor is like rain in the spring. It is better, to, much better to get wisdom than God. It is much better to choose and stand with the soul. The path of honesty will take them away from evil. Those who got their ways got their lives. If you are proud, you will be destroyed. If you are proud, you will fall. Suppose you are lowly in spirit among with along with those who are true about. That's better than sharing stolen goods with those who are proud. If anyone pays attention to what they talk, they will succeed. And this is the person who trusts in the Lord. Nice hearts are known for understanding what is right. Kind words make people want to learn more. Understanding is like a fountain of life to those who have. But foolish people are punished for the foolish things they do. The hearts of wise people guide their mouth. Their words make people want to learn more. Kind words are like honey. They are sweet to the spirit and bring healing to the world. There is a ray that appears to be right, but in the end it leads to death. The hunger of workers makes them well. Their hunger drives them on. A worthless person plans to do evil things. Their words are like a burning fire. A trusted person stirs with coffee. Anyone who talks about others separates questions. A person who wants to hurt others tries to get them to sin. The, that person leads them down a path that isn't good. Whoever wants with their eyes planning to do wrong. Whoever closes their lips tightly is up to no good. Grey hair is a glorious ground. You get it by living the right way. It is better to be patient than to fight. It is better to control your temper than to take a seat. Lots are cast into the lap to make decisions. But everything they decide comes from the Lord. Psalm 108. God, my heart feels secure. I will sing and make music to you with all my heart. Harp and lyre, wake up. I want to sing and make music before the sun rises. Lord, I will pray to you among the nations. And I will sing about you among the people of the earth. Great is your love. It is higher than the heavens. Your truth reaches to the skies. God, may you be honored above the heavens. Let your glory be over the whole earth. Save us. Help us with your powerful right hand, so that those you love may be safe. God has spoken from his temple. He said, I will win the battle, so then I will divide up the land around Shechem. I will divide up the valley of Sokos. Gilead belongs to me, and so does the land of Manasseh. My frame is the strong strap. It is like a helmet for my hand. Judah is the royal trap. It is like a rule scepter. Moab serves me like one who washes my feet. I toss my sandal on Edom to show that I own. I shout to feel steer that I have won the battle. Who will bring me to the city that is high was around? Who will lead me to the land of Edom? God, isn't it you, even though you have now turned around away from us? Isn't it isn't it you, even though you don't lead our armies into battle anymore? Help us against our enemies. The help people give doesn't amount to anything. With your help, we will win the battle. You will walk all of our enemies. Now that's done, I shall now do the Lord's prayer. Please bow your heads. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as you raise the forgiven our debtors. There is no end to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.